Welcome to our channel. In this video, we will provide you with valuable insights and tips on applying for a painting job in Canada. We'll cover the key aspects of preparing for a job interview, including common questions and suggested answers tailored to the painting industry. Whether you're a seasoned painter or just starting your career, this video will help you stand out in your job search and excel in your interview. Join us as we explore the world of painting jobs in Canada and equip you with the tools you need to succeed. Subscribe to our channel for more helpful content on securing your dream job as a painter in Canada. Information about opportunities for painters in the Canadian job market and the skills typically required for this type of job. Opportunities for painters in Canada. Residential painting. Many homeowners in Canada hire painters to freshen up the interiors and exteriors of their homes. This includes painting walls, ceilings, trim, and other surfaces. Commercial painting. Numerous businesses, including offices, retail stores, hotels, and restaurants, require painters to maintain their premises and create a welcoming atmosphere. Industrial painting. Industrial facilities such as factories, warehouses, and manufacturing plants often need painters to protect and maintain their structures and equipment. Construction painting. Painters are in demand in the construction industry for new building projects, including residential and commercial developments. Skills needed to get hired as a painter in Canada. Painting techniques. Proficiency in various painting techniques such as brushing, rolling, spraying, and faux finishes is essential. Color mixing and matching. The ability to mix and match paint colors accurately to achieve the desired shade or tone is crucial for a painter. Surface preparation. Skill in preparing surfaces by cleaning, sanding, and patching to ensure proper adhesion of paint. Knowledge of tools and equipment. Familiarity with different painting tools and equipment, such as brushes, rollers, sprayers, and scaffolding, is necessary. Safety procedures, understanding and adhering to safety protocols, including the use of protective gear, proper handling of chemicals, and awareness of potential hazards. Attention to detail, paying close attention to details, such as avoiding drips, achieving smooth finishes, and ensuring clean lines is important for quality painting work. Time management, the ability to manage time effectively, estimate project durations accurately, and meet deadlines. Customer service, good communication and interpersonal skills to interact with clients, understand their requirements, and provide satisfactory service. Please note that the Canadian job market is dynamic and can change over time. It is advisable to consult recent job listings and industry resources to stay updated on the specific requirements and opportunities for painters in Canada. In Canada, the requirements for certification or specialized training for painters can vary depending on the province or territory. While there may not be a mandatory national certification for painters, certain provinces may have their own certification programs or trade qualifications. Here are a few examples. Red Seal Certification The Red Seal Program is a nationally recognized interprovincial standard of excellence for skilled trades in Canada. While it is not specific to painting, achieving a Red Seal certification in the trade of painter and decorator can enhance job prospects and indicate a high level of skill. To obtain Red Seal certification, painters must complete a provincial apprenticeship program and pass a certification exam. Provincial certification. Some provinces have their own certification programs for painters. For example, British Columbia, the Industry Training Authority, ITA, offers a painter and decorator apprenticeship program. Completion of the apprenticeship and passing the required exams leads to a certificate of qualification. Ontario, the Ontario College of Trades oversees the painter trade. Completion of an apprenticeship and successful examination can result in a certificate of qualification as a journeyman painter. Professional associations, Joining professional painting associations can provide additional credibility and resources for painters in Canada. For example, Painting Contractors Association, PCA, Canada, 
PCA Canada offers resources, training, and networking opportunities for painting contractors and professionals across the country. Master Painters Institute, MPI MPI, provides education, certification, and technical resources for commercial and industrial painters. To find specific institutes or training programs that offer certifications or courses for painters, you can consider the following options. Contact local trade schools, technical colleges, or community colleges in your desired province or city. Consult with provincial apprenticeship boards or regulatory bodies overseeing trades in your region. Reach out to industry associations and professional organizations for guidance on training opportunities and certification programs. It's important to research the specific requirements and certifications applicable to your desired province or territory, as they may differ. Checking with local authorities and industry organizations will provide the most accurate and up-to-date information on certifications for painters in Canada. Foreigners interested in applying for painting jobs in Canada can follow these general steps. Work Permit Determine if you require a work permit to work legally in Canada. Most foreign workers will need a work permit unless they qualify for an exemption. The type of work permit you need will depend on factors such as the duration of employment, the specific job, and your country of citizenship. You may need to consult the Canadian government's official website or contact the nearest Canadian embassy or consulate for accurate information. Research job opportunities, explore job boards, company websites, and online job portals to identify painting job opportunities in Canada. Use keywords such as painter, painting jobs, or specific job titles like residential painter or commercial painter along with the desired location. Prepare a resume slash CV, create a tailored resume or curriculum vitae CV that highlights your relevant skills, qualifications, work experience, and education. Customize your resume to align with the requirements and preferences of Canadian employers. Cover letter. Craft a compelling cover letter that introduces yourself, expresses your interest in the painting job, and explains how your skills and experience make you a suitable candidate. Apply for jobs, submit your application, including your resume and cover letter, directly to the employers offering painting positions. Some companies may have an online application process, while others may prefer email or physical submissions. Follow the instructions provided in the job postings. Networking. Network with professionals in the Canadian painting industry through online platforms, industry events, or local trade associations. Networking can help you gain insights, make connections, and discover hidden job opportunities. Work with recruitment agencies. Consider collaborating with recruitment agencies specializing in connecting foreign workers with employers in Canada. These agencies can assist in finding suitable job opportunities and navigating the hiring process. Interview preparation. If shortlisted for an interview, Prepare for it by researching the company, understanding the job requirements, and practicing common interview questions. Highlight your skills, experience, and enthusiasm for the painting profession. Work visa and immigration process. If you receive a job offer from a Canadian employer, you may need to initiate the work visa and immigration process. This typically involves obtaining a valid work permit or other necessary documents. Consult the Canadian government's official website or seek legal advice to understand the specific requirements and procedures. It's important to note that the immigration and work permit processes can be complex, and it is advisable to consult official government sources or seek legal advice to ensure you have accurate and up-to-date information for your specific situation. Here are a few colleges and technical schools in Canada that offer programs related to painting and certifications. British Columbia Institute of Technology, BCIT, located in British Columbia, BCIT offers a painting and decorating trades program that provides comprehensive training in painting techniques, surface preparation, color theory, and more. Southern Alberta Institute of Technology, SAIT, SAIT, located in Alberta, offers a painter and decorator apprenticeship program. 
This program combines classroom instruction with practical hands-on training to develop the skills necessary for a career in painting. Northern Alberta Institute of Technology, NAIT, NAIT, also located in Alberta, offers a painting and decorating apprenticeship program. This program focuses on teaching students the essential skills and techniques required for successful painting and decorating careers. George Brown College, situated in Ontario, George Brown College offers a painting and decorating techniques program. Students in this program learn the fundamentals of painting and decorating, including surface preparation, color mixing, wallpapering, and more. Nova Scotia Community College, NSCC, NSCC, located in Nova Scotia, offers a painter program that provides training in all aspects of the painting trade. Students learn about surface preparation, application techniques, safety practices, and other essential skills. These are just a few examples, and there may be other colleges and technical schools across Canada offering similar programs. I recommend visiting the respective websites of these institutions for more detailed information on the programs they offer, admission requirements, and certification options. Please note that availability and specific program details may vary, so it's essential to contact the institutions directly or visit their websites for the most up-to-date and accurate information. NOC Code 7294 Painters and Decorators Accept Interior Decorators Painters and decorators apply paint, wallpaper, and other finishes to the interior and exterior surfaces of buildings and other structures. They are employed by construction companies, painting contractors, and building maintenance contractors, or they may be self-employed. Illustrative Examples Construction Painter Maintenance Painter 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 and Decorator Painter and Decorator Apprentice Paper Hanger All Examples Exclusions Automotive painters, C7322 motor vehicle body repairers. Industrial painters, coders, and metal finishing process operators, 9536. Interior decorators, C5242 interior designers and interior decorators. Painters, sculptors, and other visual artists, 5136. Supervisors of Painters and Decorators, C7205 Contractors and Supervisors, Other Construction Trades, Installers, Repairers, and Servicers. Main Duties Painters and Decorators perform some or all of the following duties. Read specifications to determine quantities of materials required. Prepare and clean surfaces using methods such as scraping, sanding, sandblasting, hydroblasting, and steam cleaning. Remove old wallpaper and loose paint. Repair cracks and holes in walls and sandpaper and apply sealer. Mix and thin paint to obtain desired color and texture. Apply paint or other materials such as stains, lacquer, enamel, oil, varnish, fiberglass, metal coating or fire retardant using brushes, rollers, or spray equipment. Measure, cut and apply wallpaper or fabric to walls. Assemble and erect scaffolding and swing stages. May advise the customer on selection of color schemes and choice of wall coverings. May provide cost estimates to clients. Employment requirements. Completion of secondary school is usually required. Completion of a three- to four-year apprenticeship program. Or, over three years of work experience in the trade is usually required to be eligible for trade certification. Trade certification for painters and decorators is compulsory in Quebec and available, but voluntary in all other provinces and the territories. Red Seal endorsement is also available to qualified painters and decorators upon successful completion of the Interprovincial Red Seal Examination. Additional Information The Red Seal endorsement allows for interprovincial mobility. Progression to supervisory positions is possible with experience. Here are 20 technical questions and answers that can be relevant for a painting job interview in Canada. Question can you explain the process of surface preparation before painting? 
Answer. Surface preparation involves cleaning the surface, removing dirt and debris, repairing any imperfections such as cracks or holes, sanding to create a smooth finish, and applying a primer if necessary. Question. What are the different types of paint finishes, and when would you use each one? Answer. Common paint finishes include flat, matte, eggshell, satin, semi-gloss, and gloss. Flat finishes are typically used for ceilings, matte finishes for walls with low traffic, eggshell and satin for walls with moderate traffic, and semi-gloss or gloss for trim and high traffic areas. Question. How do you ensure proper adhesion of paint to a previously painted surface? Answer. To ensure adhesion, it's important to clean the surface, sand it lightly to create a rough texture, and apply a primer suitable for the specific surface and paint type being used. Question. What is backrolling in painting, and why is it done? Answer. Backrolling is the technique of rolling over freshly painted areas with a roller to create a smoother and more consistent finish. It helps eliminate visible brush or roller marks and ensures even coverage. Question. How do you handle paint spills or drips on finished surfaces? Answer. Paint spills or drips should be addressed immediately by using a damp cloth or sponge to remove the excess paint carefully. If necessary, touch-ups or repairs may be required to restore the surface to its original condition. Question. Can you explain the differences between oil-based and water-based paints? Answer. Oil-based paints use oil as a binder, have a longer drying time, provide a durable finish, and are often used for high traffic areas. Water-based paints use water as a binder, have a faster drying time, are easier to clean up, and have lower VOC, volatile organic compounds, content. Question. How do you handle different paint sheens when applying multiple coats? Answer. When applying multiple coats, it's important to use the same type of paint and sheen to ensure consistency. If necessary, sand lightly between coats and allow proper drying time. Question. What safety precautions do you take while working with paint and related chemicals? Answer. Safety precautions include wearing personal protective equipment, PPE, such as goggles, gloves, and a respirator when necessary, ensuring proper ventilation, and following manufacturer instructions for handling and storing paints and chemicals. Question. How do you identify and address issues such as mold or mildew on surfaces before painting? Answer. Mold or mildew can be identified by visible signs, such as black spots or a musty odor. Before painting, it's important to clean the surface using a bleach solution or an appropriate mold and mildew remover, following safety guidelines. Question. Can you explain the process of color matching when working with different paint batches? Answer. Color matching involves comparing the existing paint color with the desired color and adjusting the new paint batch if necessary. This can be achieved by adding small amounts of tint or pigment to achieve a closer match. Question. What are the advantages and disadvantages of using a paintbrush versus a roller? Answer. Paintbrushes allow for more precision and control in tight or detailed areas, while rollers are more efficient for covering larger surfaces quickly. However, paintbrushes may leave brush marks, and rollers may not reach into tight corners. Question. How do you address paint adhesion issues on surfaces that have previously been painted with latex or oil-based paint? Answer. Adhesion issues can be addressed by properly cleaning and sanding the surface, using a suitable primer, and ensuring compatibility between the new paint and the existing paint type. Question. What techniques do you use to create a smooth, brush or roller mark-free finish? Answer. Techniques to achieve a smooth finish include using high-quality brushes or rollers, applying thin and even coats, working in small sections, and using the appropriate brush strokes or roller techniques for the surface. Question. How do you determine the amount of paint needed for a specific project? Answer. The amount of paint needed can be determined by calculating the square footage of the surface to be painted and referring to the manufacturer's instructions for paint coverage per gallon or liter. Question. How do you handle paint equipment and tools to ensure their longevity and proper functioning? Answer. 
Proper handling includes cleaning brushes, rollers, and other tools immediately after use, storing them in a dry and clean area, and following manufacturer recommendations for maintenance and care. Question. Can you explain the difference between dry time and cure time for paint? Answer. Dry time refers to the time it takes for the paint to feel dry to the touch, while cure time refers to the time it takes for the paint to fully harden and reach its maximum durability. Cure time is typically longer than dry time. Question. How do you address surface imperfections, such as cracks or nail holes, before painting? Answer. Surface imperfections can be addressed by filling them with an appropriate filler or putty, sanding the area smooth, and ensuring a uniform surface before applying paint. Question. What are some techniques to achieve a smooth paint finish on textured surfaces? Answer. Techniques include using a thicker nap roller to accommodate the texture, applying paint in multiple directions to ensure full coverage, and using a brush to work the paint into the texture for better adhesion. Question. Can you explain the purpose and use of a paint sprayer in the painting process? Answer. Paint sprayers are used to apply paint quickly and evenly on larger surfaces. They can achieve a smooth finish and are particularly useful for projects where brush or roller marks may be more visible. Question. How do you ensure proper cleanup and disposal of paint-related materials after completing a project? Answer. Proper cleanup involves disposing of paint cans, brushes, and other materials according to local regulations, rinsing brushes and rollers thoroughly, and storing or disposing of leftover paint appropriately, considering environmental guidelines. These questions cover a range of technical aspects related to painting jobs in Canada. Remember to prepare your answers based on your knowledge and experience in the field to showcase your skills and expertise during the interview. Here are 20 Canadian companies specifically in the painting industry that could potentially hire foreign workers for painting jobs, along with the provinces where they are located. Serta Pro Painters, Alberta, British Columbia, Ontario. Wow One Day Painting, Alberta, British Columbia, Ontario. Five Star Painting, Alberta, British Columbia, Ontario. College Pro Painters, Various Provinces, Franchise Based. Handyman Connection, Alberta, British Columbia, Ontario. Jason Belbin Painting, Newfoundland and Labrador. Elite Trade Painting, Alberta, British Columbia, Ontario. Academy Painting Contractors, British Columbia. Student Works Painting, the various provinces, franchise-based. Williams Painting, Ontario. Germain's Painting, Alberta. Brusco Painting Limited, British Columbia. Fresh Coat Painters, Alberta, British Columbia, Ontario. Pro Works Painting, Alberta, British Columbia, Ontario. Fresh Paint Incorporated, Alberta, British Columbia. Apple Blossom Painters, Ontario. O'Sullivan's Painting, Alberta. Great Canadian Painting, Alberta. Renaissance Painting, Quebec. Color Works Painting Design, Ontario. Please note that the availability of job opportunities may vary, and it's recommended to research each company individually, check their websites or job postings, and contact them directly to inquire about potential employment and their willingness to hire foreign workers specifically for painting jobs. Please note, some of these companies' websites may change from time to time, so it will be a good idea to check each website for more accurate information. We'll be leaving a few links below the description. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.